Vice President Leiser here in Round Rock, beautiful Round Rock, Arizona, and hot Round Rock, Arizona. It's going to be 104 degrees here this afternoon. Take care of your animals. Everybody get plenty of water, drink all your fluids, and, well, just stay out of the sun if you possibly can on this hot day. So, uh, again, we're out here at Round Rock, Arizona. We're going to be doing a, our first portion of our uh, COVID-19 uh, town hall update. As you know, we're one time a week now, which is Wednesdays, 10 a.m. So thank you for joining us. President Nez is here and uh, Dr. Fowler is here. So we're going to also do an event here by handing off a beautiful road grader for the chapter here. So as you know, they've been all uh, per heavy equipment. So heavy equipment presentation here in Round Rock, Arizona. So let's open up in prayer here real quick. Akhet, the end God, we thank you, Lord, that uh, today we can come, Father, and uh, uh, present and be about the nation's business, uh, providing services to the people, Lord, but we ultimately uh, look to you, Father, for, for provision for every good thing that comes from above. We uh, ask you to be with us in the, during this meeting. Uh, let us uh, uh, bless the nation with the knowledge and the wisdom of our health professionals, Father, as we look and see COVID-19 numbers coming down, Lord. We'll work like it depends on us, but pray like it depends on you, Lord, Father, that uh, you would hold Withhold no good thing from your people, Father. Lord, we thank you again. Uh, give us the wisdom, Lord. Guidance and direction. We pray these things in uh, your name, Jesus Christ's name, the and God. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So without further ado, I'm going to give my updates here real quick. Uh, as soon as the uh, president gives his update. So, President Jonathan Nez. Good, good morning. They uh, round rock the area a day three dog or a cycle. So, the children just anigi ya. So, it's so. In she be stand on that door. They saw that area. I got better today. Aya in the Kana Zalada Zogo. A D Dow Chid Soto uh arts of it up uh Chidibend and Shiki A hot up uh the has need uh the Tana Zanahata Sogo uh which I could add yeah Tai Chid Sotida Egi Taj uh Tuda uh and uh Kehegida a hot out uh forklift uh back code at that egg Ah, uh, this uh, uh, house Kazagoshi. Uh, I didn't know anything now, so I uh, thought that's yeah, the 104 that should have don't need each. So I just do the less, uh, the digital a conde, uh, a binic, a yanil, so what a ya, uh, nantendo, uh, here or it put a bolt, huh? You get a good idea, give a bed and hit the leech, shall deal out a ya. The baby catch all was the heat of the catch all was a year. I don't that need card or they dark at the other day's nest. The out there stugo, a sheep and nutch. Nihitzilo, a nantina had I not the nature, a adoshina and tinigi, uh, hot a nutch and day's nest teacher. So here, do the other has ya, twitch a das, edo, a hoskazo, a ad. That's what Tran Ashmod, a condina snegia. In Lego by yet here. The mask that Egia Nichito and his eh, Dora Zabikidas, Tita Hada, had no Yadat here. 
Jun label a gun, a kid at ego, a an a d d a mass to the yard, and then a chicota yield. A con the chicon, the nanny, cleany, the na Navajo nation out so go ya a on the chudail, a on the bears, ani had it a ash horned. Dean leg or tata to car or chadas, a ash hornish cane or cleany. You could cheat on his zebby get us here, won't tata to car. O Anishi Yades Kedi Nashlin Nashnegin te Jo Andi Kontu Kosin Tragin has eight atta Lego Andi Nikani Hine but at the ne so A Shido on Sada Kesto Deshk in Othini Ashmode Chodas in Lane Alyaba when you got cut out of Kahoda Chodas eh Kombilagana and they had a shin dark hair. Uh, though bears and fathers, that's a good luck. A cocoon, thud at the car, did or to the yosh either, a cone thud at carho, the never care of a car, so though bears and the little father had that yard, the other, how is she not national, had no banana? He to cousin Swagin has the ah, ah, eh, just to eat in in the bizado. Aishina Nashna had no banahan, John lay torn none the hot abadahan. Nahishni, oh, ya, denado, kissot. Ebony Nakodo, a shkerosh nem, Nahada, set at the ne, honi hik any hin nasa, a conada near, chero shard or set a ye ya, ado yindal zichi, a condon ye con hik any hid ne. Lana, but I need in father, say ash for the dear Zed, he did that. A benach, a yard, this kid, a bearzin ye. Con never whole nation out, so got a notch a yardy, banda wheel naggy yard, this kid. A good ogo, he had us so go Colorado, Colorado, a and the art and dental kit. A auto di. Hos do hot zoja, so le hot zoja, yo to hot zoja, and the ah, the penny nagi. Tadane, zel in dan, lenigi gago, the if side or di zegi do the ins and the ebony na tendil kit, tendil kit, or yandil kit, tendil kit. Nihe ashon, tada e ya ashla de ya na tin tin, a hail kiddo, a side, a shake ya. ホニケニヘナベタトナアサイチシラトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトト
ፍቄኒ እና አንዲ ብቸንት አስቲ ኦተ ብቺስ ጽስ ብቸንት አስቲ ኦተ እብኒ ናዳ ዲ ነያ ንፋዳ ሰ አሽሽ ከኒ ፍኒ እሺ ዶ ባትስ ዲ ዘንዶለ አሳድ ሚል ያጅዶ ፋነ ዘቲ ዶ ዲዝቲ ነልት ኦይ ኮኒ ፍቄኒ እና ይጽ ደጅተ አ ዲኒ ጨና ኦልቴ ዲ ነ አ ኤ ኮ ኒኬኒ ኪድነ አኮ አንዲ ኪስ ፈሎንጊ ኤዶ ፓትሶ ዲ ዘና ሾነ ብነ ዶ ብጄታ ስቲፎ ተፋ ታይ አንዲ ሌጎ ካዳ ተካሆ ሽዳ ዘብኒና ሽቄሽነ ንጻ ድደንዳን ኤ ኖ ወህ ሽቄኖ ሲን አሮ ሁጣን ስዳ ኪስ አሽሆንድ አሽሆንድ ያ ta e koni ki keni ki na uh the um the behavioral health mental health the aj has aj ni ka do wa so ta ibni na e hada inos na ta e ya kon ki keni ki na shi shi da ta ibni na kon ki keni ki na it's is it's ado which end has ti ta da no da kon ka da ka ash kon a da ka na ash kon ካነ ጃዶ ስቲዴል ለሾቪ ቢቲቪ ተሆደ ዳይሲኒል ጻሽ ኬኒ ሶ እሺ ኮአፍት ሶዶ ኮዶ ሆነ ቢቲ ኮናን ኢሽላዶ ለሾ አዘዶ ኒ ሂጭ ኮሊ ያጊ ና ና ኪ ነዘቲን ተሚል ያጅዶ ባ ዲስቲን ዶ ባ ናስቲ ሌት ኦዲ ኒ ሾ ና ኪ ነዘቲን ዶ ባ ዲስቲን ዶ ባ ናስቲ ተሚል ያጅ ዶ ባ ሀስታ ነዘቲ ዶ ባ ሽላነል ጠይኩ አዘጊኒ ሂጭ ኮሊ ያ ነብከ ያ አኮ ሸዳሲል ኢዲጊ ያ ነኻዳ ሲጊ ናኪ ነዘቲ ዶ ባ ተቲ ዶ ባ ሰስጥ ተሚል ያጅ ዶ ባ ሰቢ ነዘቲ ዶ ባ ሽላቲ ዶ ባ ናኪ ነል ጠይኩ ሸዳሲል ኢ አዘጊ ነኻዳ ሲ ሶ ኤሺ اخيه دان كي دي نيدو ليش ايروشن مخاله سيغي عندي ازه الله مخال شن بلا نا نفسنا شكون ده بدو كون كي كيني كي دنا دو دنز دو دينز نيكي يا بتش اشنا تاع دي ناس نيكي عندي شي كون ناس نيك دو ده اصلا انا اخي ما كي تخاد انا انا اخي عندي شي كون ناس نيك هو ده اي بزيغي بكجن مش ايغني ما يكون كي جو با تيميك سو اشي التسو كود ن ነይ ከቺ ነይ ጫናና ሲቶለ ነይ አይ አይ ሜንሽን ኢን ናቦሆ ጁስት ኩዊክ ኦቨርቪው ኦፍ ኦፍ ዘ ዘ ፓንዴሚክ ዋት አር አር ፍሮንት ላይን ወርከርስ ሃቭ ቢን ዱይንግ ዊ አር ኢን ራውንድ ሮክ አሪዞና ዘር ኢዝ ጎን ቢ ሄቪ ኢኩዊፕመንት ሄቪ ኢኩዊፕመንት ዴዲኬሽን ኤንድ አ ሴሌብሬሽን ሂር ዩ ኖ ዊ ዊ አሎኬቲድ አ millions of dollars 20 plus millions of dollars for heavy equipment for chapters throughout the Navajo Nation and here today Round Rock uh delivery of a motor grader and other chapters receive other heavy equipment and you know just to empower our Navajo uh chapters in self sufficiency and local governance and so there'll be a, a an event here in a bit and then we're going to have an ARPA uh presentation by the Round Rock chapter here uh and we just want to just let everybody know but based on uh, if you can put the uh, slide up uh Eli uh the updates you know we've been going through 15 or 16 months now of this pandemic and we see some easing of restrictions off the Navajo Nation people are open reopening at 100% you know but you you see the fluctuation of covid cases It's, it goes up goes down goes up goes down look at colorado still high cases you know we also have to think about the long term health effects covid-19 has on our people i've spoken to many people as i travel throughout the navajo nation coming up to me and saying you know i have to relearn how to do things walking can't think as well and so my arms are not functioning well yeah You know the scientists and the healthcare professionals say it takes 14 days before covid goes away but there's long lasting health problems from it which we don't take under consideration 
you know, some of our young people will say, well, if I catch it 14 days, I'll be okay. Yeah, but you never know who you may pass it on to, or you may have some long-term health problems from it. And we, we know people that have gone through some uh, rough times. 30,932 of our Navajo people uh, caught the virus. But you know what? 29,549 have uh, recovered. No COVID in their system. Uh, but then some, many of them have long-term health problems. Uh, 1,340 people have caught, have died from COVID-19. And our thoughts and prayers go out to each and every one of them. And we need to continue to uh, stay the course here on the Navajo Nation. Let me remind everybody here on the Navajo Nation, masks are still required. Masks are still required to go into any business or any place on the Navajo Nation. So there are people traveling throughout the Navajo Nation or people from all different parts traveling through. They're not wearing masks. Business owners, you should be telling those patrons they're, they're not allowed to go into the businesses without a mask. We're trying to protect our people here. That's, that's the most important thing above money, profit, or anything else is the health and well-being of our Navajo people. We've got hit hard. Yes, you see people opening up all around us. You know, and you still see fluctuation of COVID cases in those communities. You know, you, and, and now you have a mental and behavioral health problem. As I travel throughout the Navajo Nation, and if you could just listen, just, just don't comment or anything, just listen to this part. Please listen to this part. Many of our Navajo people out there have been coming to me asking for prayer vice president too pray for me you know why because they feel guilt a lot of our navajo people feel guilt you know why because they feel like they're the ones and it's it's easy to find out who brings the virus into your household right they brought the virus back into their household the virus spread within the home people got sick People may have died. And now our Navajo people are thinking it was because of me. I brought the virus home. My aunt, my grandma, my relative passed away. A lot of guilt. Or some of our Navajo people are thinking my aunt, my uncle has long term health problems from COVID-19 and it's because of me. And let us not think that way. Those of you that are listening here that you might be feeling some guilt, don't think that way. We're all in this together. We need to help each other out. We need to listen to these protocols. We're not going to see the immediate uh, damage, health, uh, mental damage right here, right now. But one, two years down the road, we got to talk to each other. We got to help each other out. That's why we're, we're asking for more mental health resources, our own way of life, teaching, counseling. Go to the second, uh, second slide there. It compares the vaccine administered from the U.S. with the Navajo Nation. The total doses that have been given in the United States that have been dis distributed, 374 million plus. What has been given into the arms of the U.S. citizens, and they count ours too, 308 plus million. That's 83% of what the U.S. has has been given. Okay, number of people fully vaccinated, 143 million plus here in the United States. The total population of the U.S. that's fully vaccinated is 43%. Eligible population, fully vaccinated, 51%. And for the Navajo Nation, uh, 249,605 
vaccines have come to nation all eight service units. Total doses administered 237,852. That's 95% of what we received have been given. 95%. Who can say that? Look at uh, United States, 83%. So we're going to be getting more doses, so that percentage probably will go down. But let's keep let's keep giving it. Number of people fully vaccinated. 113,645. Fully vaccinated. Two doses of Moderna, two doses of Pfizer, one uh, Johnson and Johnson. The user population. Now, this counts people off the Navajo Nation, too, who come to these healthcare facilities to get their healthcare needs. 49% fully vaccinated. That's over, what is it, 280,000. Eligible user population fully vaccinated, 60%. So we're breaking that down to make sure we're seeing how much of our residents have been fully vaccinated. Uh, again, I've been saying we're probably over 70, 70 something percent now. I mean, just look at Shiprock alone. Uh, Shiprock alone, Shiprock service unit had uh, 90 plus percent of their elders, 75 uh, and older fully vaccinated. Uh, adults 18 plus over 71 percent uh, the young people from 12 to 15 uh, 30 percent fully vaccinated next uh, slide and this is where I was uh, mentioning where we stand with the rest of the country it gives you a graph the top line there is Colorado high cases second in the country of positive case counts and then the, the second red uh, line down is Utah, third is Arizona, fourth is New Mexico, and the, the yellow there is Navajo Nation. We're in the middle. So you can see there's still COVID positive cases all across. The last slide I'd like to mention, if you can go there, Eli, is the variant. There's the new variant that's uh, causing some issues throughout the world, which is the uh, Delta variant. It's not here in the United States. But just based on the other variants, it will soon probably be here. Because we're so interconnected. We have the UK variant, South African variant, the Brazilian variant, the California variant that is uh, identified here in this country. Now, the B117, the UK variant, 62 known cases here in the United States, uh, in the Navajo Nation, I'm sorry, 62. And that's prevalent all across the country. No B1351, no South African identified here on the map. The uh, Brazilian, the P1, are two cases. Uh, there are two cases here on the Navajo Nation. Uh, Epsilon, that's B1427 and B1429, that California variant. 83, that's most prevalent here in the uh, Southwest. Now, I just got an update. I just got an update that uh, Delta, Delta variant has been identified in the United States. And that's a concern that we're monitoring right now. Now, everybody is wanting to come to the Navajo Nation because they want to reopen the parks you know, and we're still looking at the legislation now. But let me just tell you, we don't know where these visitors are coming from, right? We don't know where they're coming from. We're not going to be asking them for their vaccination card or or uh, asking them if they're fully vaccinated. They're going to, you know, we don't know. But as long as we keep wearing our mask, everybody, the mask is very important. If we do reopen, you have to wear masks. Uh, but we just don't know. You know, some parks, national parks throughout the country right now, uh, are seeing an overwhelming um, uh, population of people going there. You know, it's overflowing, overflowing. People want to go out. That's probably going to what going to happen here. That means it's not just travel parks. That means that your local gas station your local supermarkets that's why i'm telling businesses you tell your visitors they have to wear masks and you shouldn't be letting them in 
And if they give you an issue, tell them that we're a sovereign nation. And if you don't like it, have a nice day. The road uh, leaves the Navajo Nation, you know, because we are very serious about COVID-19. Vice President, our administration has been very serious about this COVID-19 since the start. We don't want anybody else to get hurt. Bottom line, health is more important than profit. I think we all agree about that. It's very important. We don't want anybody to lose their lives because someone's not getting profit. You know, ARPA is going to be able to give money to these businesses that are not, uh, you know, that are losing revenue. And so that, that's going to be available. And we're going to be gathering information on that. So I, I just wanted to share that with you and, and just to let you know we are very serious about that. Don't let down. We're seeing people letting down all across the Navajo Nation. You can't do that slowly gradually reopening the navajo nation that's what we're doing here we're not going to keep it shut forever but i want to give the, uh, the the time for an update to our vice president and thank you take care of yourself maybe you just ask them politely uh, here on navajo nation ma'am sir you require masks you know it might be all it takes so anyway, take care of yourself. God bless. Here's our vice president for an update. Thank you, Mr. President. Appreciate the Tomahawk chapter hosting us as you can see the assembly for the presentation of the fine new equipment ready for you. So, but, uh, as we always do, we give our numbers of what the surrounding states look like here. Uh, Arizona is. Uh, 16 months in is 887,569 for 420. So you see it's not really fully uh, uh, dwindling as far as numbers, but in perspective, uh, there's like six, over 6 million residents. So 423 new cases in Arizona. Chief County, 11,250. 16 months in, there's one new case. So good job, Chief County. Polk County, 16,500. Hano County, 17,905 with zero cases to report. So good job, Coconino County. Give you a shout out there, Western Agency, Navajo Nation. Uh, Colorado, as you know, they've uh, have the property in Colorado, Wolf Springs and Boyer Ranches out there. Some of our Navajo uh, workers are out there, employees, staff out there. So they're doing a good job holding the fort down there. Uh, 551,719. Uh, with 391 new cases. Uh, I think as of uh, last month, they were experiencing some heavy surges going on, but it uh, looks like they've got it under control. So it's coming down on the downward trend. New Mexico, 204,392 with 122 new cases. So New Mexico looks really good. So uh, I'll, I'll give a little update and some words, uh, I guess, here uh, on what it looks like traveling with that. Uh, here shortly. Uh, San Juan County there in northwestern New Mexico, 15,620 with 10 new cases. Uh, good job there. They were with uh, Gallatin McKinley County, the neighbors to the west, uh, east there, 12,359 with one new case. So good job there, San uh, Gallatin County. Utah, 400, our northern neighbors, 409,964 with 237 the cases there to report. Uh, they are kind of hovering. Uh, San Juan County there in southeastern Utah, 1,924 with two new cases. So they've been clamping down there pretty good. Our own Utah Navajo system standing pat at 1,090 cases to report. So good job there, our citizens in uh, the southeastern Utah. So one thing we do want to encourage you all as you're out of town, some of us do have to travel. Whatever again, our leadership is uh, advocating for us all to stay local. Uh, we're not out of the woods yet. There are those new variants that President was talking about. So, but when you do, uh, you know, go out.
here. So uh, it's, it's pretty hot right now. So uh, we do want to finish up the little segment there, encouraging our citizens to uh, continue to be safe and vigilant out there, right? Uh, we're still needing to uh, uh, take care of our families once we get home, again, potentially traveling abroad to check yourself, to clean, uh, take your shoes off as you enter the house and, uh, you know, change your clothes out, fresh clothes, showering all the time, washing our hands, hand sanitizers, you know, just really exaggerating again the things you do as we stamp out this, this, uh, this is the fourth quarter, right? And a lot of the times you have to respond to your competition. You have to propel your competition. So think of it as a uh, fourth quarter of a, uh, a heated game, a heated rivalry, right? COVID is, is trying to gain the upper hand in this fourth quarter, but we need to be very vigilant. We need to continue to work hard like it depends on us. We're going to pray like it depends on our creator, D and God. Uh, we just want to, again, encourage you all to continue to be safe out there. Check yourself before you come home and, uh, you know, we'll all be the better for it. So, again, reporting live from Round Rock Chapter, Arizona here, we'll be giving that uh, new piece of equipment there, uh, a very, very heavy Tonka toy there for um, um, the uh, chapter here to utilize on their roads here. It's a beautiful area. It's a beautifully hot area today, 104 degrees here. So take care of your animals, drink water, stay hydrated. And, uh, you know, we look forward to being able to convene with you all again at, at another meeting, wherever that may be. So residents inside, as you heard earlier, uh, right next, I, I'd like to, uh, I guess, uh, bring on Dr. Jill Jim. She's got some latest updates here. Uh, so signing off, uh, Vice President Liza signing off here, Round Rock Chapter. How's going at you all? Continue to be safe. Sorry about that. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you, Vice President and President, for all your reminders about um, where we're at with the pandemic and also um, the concerns that we continually have. Um, although we see that a lot of states have lifted their restrictions and there are um, probably a lot of areas outside the Navajo Nation not practicing, um, not continuing to practice safety measures to some extent, but we encourage everyone to, to do that here if you're on the Navajo Nation. So I am Dr. Jill Jim, I'm the Executive Director for Navajo Department of Health. Um, the health education department shared with me the other day some recommendations. So I wanted to share that. This is the health advisory we're having. Um, we want to issue a health advisory and some health precautions. Um, these have been issued out to Navajo Nation employees by our risk management already, but um, some um, things to look out for in the heat, with the high heat, is that you have high body temperature. Um, if you have are experiencing a heat stroke, it's your hot, red, dry, or damp skin. Um, your pulse might be fast and strong. You might have a headache, dizziness. You might feel nauseous, um, confused, and loss of consciousness if you passed out. Um, so, Kashi, um, Kajashi Yego was that Do had seats in this gate or Do, Do has Ehos in the Do, I did the Dakota just what a heat stroke you had gonna give a what a um. You'll, you'll be experiencing that. So what to do, Bukaige, calm. Well, we don't have a 911, so I would try to call your nearest hospital emergency room and then move the person to a cooler place. Um, 
Help lower the person's temperature with cool cloths or, or a cool bath. Do not give the person anything to drink um, at that time. And then there's heat exhaustion, adult, adult clashing, not long, but a heavy sweating, adult cold, pale, and clammy skin. Also, uh, nauseous, attended to port or cheek, uh, nauseous or vomiting, vomiting, muscle cramps, tiredness or weakness, dizziness, fainting. So, um, what to do in a heat exhaustion is move to a cool place, um, loosen your clothing, put cool wet cloths on your body, um, uh, or take a cool bath, sip water, and get medical help right away if you're throwing up. Your symptoms get worse or your symptoms last longer than one hour. So um, just know those are the symptoms and things that you need to do. And then you have heat cramps too. And you have heavy sweating during exercise, muscle pain, or spasms. So if you're out there exercising in the heat, try to do that in the morning or um, as much as you can when it's cooler to exercise. Stop. And if you're experiencing this, stop physical activity and move to a cool place. Drink water or a sports drink. Wait for cramps to go away before you do any more physical activity and get medical help as well if you have cramps. Low, if you're on a low sodium diet or either you have heart problems. If it's painful, red, warm skin, blisters on the skin, stay out of the sun until sunburns heal, put cool cloths on sunburn areas or take a cool bath, put a moisturizing lotion on sunburn areas and do not break blisters. Heat rash, if that's not a um, red clusters of small blisters might go on your skin. So stay in a cool, dry place and keep the rash dry. Use a powder to soothe the rash. I should quite on just to share a little bit of the um, reminders about the high heat conditions here and take care of our elders and um, even our kids out there. Everyone is um, can be impacted by this heat. So making sure you're staying in a cool place and following all of those. And if you're seeing someone not feeling well, um, just remind yourself on how you can get them help if they're not getting better. And just um, staying inside in a cool area and going outside only if you need to and have in the morning or other times that are safe for everyone. So I just wanted to share that a little bit. And then I just wanted to sh um, share their, the slides here with the public health emergency order. I was talk about this is that we're still in a health advisory for mandating masks among all persons in public. So just a reminder that all our visitors or everyone um, do that during the, um, when, when people are coming onto the Napo Nation, so it's indoors and outdoors. Also um, making sure we continue to um, social distance or physical distance as much as we can even when you have another household person coming and visiting you and staying within our um, gathering limits. We will be updating our public health emergency orders. I keep saying that we're still under review to make sure there is um, precautions are taken. We are um, looking at increasing gathering limits. So just know that be prepared um, to see changes here on the Navajo Nation. And as I mentioned, we've been on the yellow status more than seven weeks, around eight weeks. I think we mentioned that last time. And a lot of things are still at 50%, uh, including lodge, lodging, campgrounds, museums, zoos. Also, the casino um, areas are still open at 50%. Um, no visitors and tourists. Indoor dining at 50%. Marina and parks are open to Navajo citizens and residents. And also, museums and zoos are open. But um, we'll be in consideration for the re um, next public health order is youth programs. And so there's a definition for youth programs. We've considered outdoor recreation activities and also um, 
for long-term youth programs, there will be some exclusions about what those guidances will look like. So some programs that are consistently being conducted throughout the year as part of their regular program responsibilities will be excluded. So that will provide clarification, not only to people that conduct these activities for youth and also um, one day events or more than one day events, but what will be allowed and hasn't been allowed are gyms, recreation facilities and movie theaters. And then we're continuing to walk as I mean, talk about walks, uh, transits are being open soon again, runs, meetings, there'll be meeting guidance on that as well. And I hope everyone is enjoying the flea markets. Um, they do have safety protocols in place, so um, they're allowed. And um, I know I saw a lot of pictures from Tuba City um, there with people attending their flea market. And I saw the Window Rock one is ongoing every single day. So I hope everyone is enjoying the outdoors. But be careful this weekend if you're going out to the flea markets to Make sure you take water, a hat, whatever you need to. If it's too hot, you might want to second think going, second think going out there. Wearing a mask is mandatory still. We still have curfews, gatherings of um, social gatherings, traditional ceremonies are still at 15, and then also 50% for churches of worship. And then also vehicle gatherings are at 50. And then all businesses or schools. But uh, tribal programs must supporting um, report any exposures to the health command, also to their local health care providers. So we're able to conduct immediate contact tracing. And we do have good contact tracing individuals across the Navajo Nation. Adoshi, um, in this day, um, we are still in a pandemic. I just want to remind everyone to just stay healthy, relieve stress by exercising, eating healthy, avoiding alcohol and drugs getting enough sleep and all of those uh, precautions. So thank you so much for all the work that you do to stay healthy and also the safest places at home. So to stop the spread of any transmission is also to get vaccinated. So ensure that um, you remind individuals to get vaccinated, especially if they're between 12 and 15 year old, they're able to get va a vaccine now. And, and some of our cluster reporting once we have that available for May, you'll see that there are more younger individuals that are testing positive and also in families where there are less vaccinated individuals. So I just want to encourage everyone to get vaccinated so we can also defend against any new variant, such as the Delta variant, uh, which we also know as the India variant and as well. So um, just be careful and cognizant about your surroundings and also within your own family these gathering clusters that are happening um some of these gatherings people are not wearing their mask so it's very important even if you decide to gather in a small group make sure you wear your uh, all uh, all of you wear your mask and also find ways to still celebrate what you're doing safely um possibly by preparing food ahead of time and just bringing it or doing it to go. So um, those are just some options as a reminder, but there are still clusters that are happening because um, these groups or these gatherings, um, the major finding is there are uh, mask adherence isn't happening. So Ashwanda, when he cheated on his head, because he had a lot of people who had have a good day everyone and thank you for joining the town hall today and god bless you.